to her. No, I don't talk to her. Why would she? Y'all like my forehead. Look at my forehead, y'all, but I'm edges. Big. Don't peck me. You don't like Kashawn Evis? Not that I don't like her. I don't care for her. Your stuff jumping. Yeah, y'all, I don't cuss. Y'all all fans. You talk to Kashawn? No, I don't talk to her. Why would she? Y'all like my forehead. Look at my forehead, y'all, but I'm edges. Big. Don't peck me. You don't like Kashawn Evis? Not that I don't like her. I don't care for her. Jumping. Yeah, y'all, I don't cuss. Y'all all fans. to come on here because you know i had to say a few things and you know that was on my mind you know what i'm saying respectfully you know speaking on but you do you guys remember when you were younger and you were young and dumb and you were with the dude you knew the dude was clown and he was a clown you were doing everything he was telling you to do even though it didn't feel right and then you started putting your foot down. You started taking action of your life. You started putting your foot down. And you started looking at the dude like in a different light. You was like, man, you was a straight clown. You know what I'm saying? And you started like not even wanting to be with him intimately or in a relationship. You kind of sort of just like really got brand new on the dude. You know, I, I know that Krishan Rock are the young Bonnie and Clyde of social media. You know, they, they, they uh, make things happen. You know, and they know that because they know that they profit off of the drama. They don't, obviously, Krishna doesn't want Blueface doing things to her to trigger her or hurt her heart and everything. But she also knows she's going to profit off it as well. You know what I'm saying? So she's winning either way. I remember, LOL. Now I'm like, what did I see in you? Exactly. That's what I always say. I just hope that Krishna gets to that point. And if she doesn't, at least she gets to the point where when when she gets out she looks at things differently she sees how this all played played out she sees how much of her life she gave to him in that short period of time of him being locked up proving her uh, being a faith she can't be faithful let's just say it like that and um what what did you get like how did you make out i mean this dude yeah i mean well, I mean, was he is he representing her because he's putting some um back in the day memories on Snapchat of them not being soulmates but um prison mates, cellmates, or whatever he said? I mean, is, is that a way of uh uh you know representing your woman, your wifey? Is that rememberable, you know, information that her fans and supporters? super fans you, that they want to really hear? We want to hear a phone call that WAC 100 set up or Bodine set up with you. Even if you haven't, we know you haven't heard from Kishan because she's locked up, you're locked up, unless you guys are compelling each other. We want to hear from you that she's doing okay. Even if you didn't speak to her or haven't had any communication. Lie. You lie about everything else. These, these, I think, the important things that you can get a pass with lying about. Taking the initiative to get on the social media and doing what she would have done for you. You know what I'm saying? When Krishan was out, we, we heard the phone calls and we heard your voice. You know what I'm saying? That's the least you could give us was um, a couple, like 20 minutes of your time where we could chuckle and say this dude is a clown, but we miss him, then so be it. Because I'm not going to lie, he, he does bring some juice to, to the internet. You know, Soldier Boy, that's why Soldier Boy don't get along with him, because Soldier Boy is on this web 24 hours a day, social media, that's his copy, Instagram. And he, he thinks in his own mind that he's the man when it comes to social media. And he's not. He tries too hard to be something that Blueface 
God naturally in him and Krishan Rock and then not utilizing that. It is so hard to make money on social media. It's really hard to grow your following, to get your um to, to get your you know your following up, your views up. Um, it's hard. Even if you're doing the social media like his father's selling products online on a website, it is so hard to market and get your your clients, your customers, whatever you you know your support them on social media they make it so hard not only that there's so many people out here trying to do the same thing that is a lot of money out here for you to eat but you gotta crack into the cold and they've cracked into the cold because of being them you know what that is a good feeling when you can just be yourself and people want to subscribe and follow you respect you support you mentally financially spiritually and you don't have to do nothing but be yourself. That's why I like when I used to do nature for content. People used to say, oh, you're boring. I was boring because pretty much I was in the sector. I don't want to um, keep these headphones on. Tell me if no, actually I'll be able to test it myself. I'm going to take them off, but I'm going to put them on my, my laptop. Just like when I was in the nature boy sector, people were like, you're boring. You're this, you're that. Why? Because... You're grown adults, and I edit my videos. I'm not going to put cuss words and, and so forth and so on on my channel. You know what I'm saying? Um, because we all know what uh, cuss words are. So why do I need to put this on my channel um, and leave up all this him choking a chick out and this and that and other just to appease you? I don't want an audience like that. Because when I go down, you ain't going to have my back. You're going to go to the next channel who um, is pleasing the mass majority, and then they get their channel taken down. I don't, you know, I don't have time for that. You know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm a leader. I'm not a follower. You feel what I'm saying? And I feel like I want people to be here because they want to be here. I want an organic audience, a real audience, not one that are here for the moment. This is hopefully this will open her eyes if Blueface gets up before. I hope I really exactly pure goddess. Now the the rule of thumb up here is I want everyone to engage into the chat. That is that's without questioning. However, if you're a person who you like to you know to to talk, always ask for me to drop that link and I'll start dropping it. You know, not maybe tonight because this was at the spur of the moment that I did a lie, but yeah, y'all need to start coming up on here too, talking, you know, cause I do read and acknowledge all comments and, you know, only time I don't is when I'm trying to show you something, you know, and I can't, sometimes I can't multitask the two, but other than that, I try to acknowledge everybody in my chat. Make sure y'all hit the like button as well. Hey, cancer 66. Hey, Tiffany. Okay. Y'all can hear me. Good, good, good. Yeah. I had to take those headsets off because they were hurting my, they hurt my temple. Like, so I had to take them off. I want to still make sure y'all heard me. I hope it still ain't coming in all messed up, though, because usually when you have them on your head, you can hear the sound a little bit more better. But um, you should still be able to hear it the same. Um, Callie representing tonight. No question. Callie in the building. But, um, yeah, it, it's just it's it's crazy. You know, and I hate to say this and I don't care who gets mad. Y'all already know I don't care who gets mad. It's really sad that she literally was being selfish and wasn't really thinking about, you know, she wasn't the only one that's here now. And um, she really on this, you know, hold on, let me read this. I gravitated to your channel because of your unbiased and very unique way of sharing your commentary. Love you. Oh, thank you, Cancer66. Hey, Vet. Buttercup, what's up? But, you know, you know, I don't care what nobody says, you know, you know, we have some supporters, you know, whether you love them or hate them, whether they're publicized um, or just viewers, you know, you, you know, you gotta, you gotta come to a point in your life where, you know, you, you can defend and this, let me just tell you this. I'm gonna give you a good example of why I don't think that a supporter should I don't care what a person does. You always going to find something to make it make sense. 
if you do that in real life with your children, for an example, especially, you know, like a lot of us have grown up in communities where, you know, um, you know, some of our kids, nephews and, you know, people, you know, that have came up after us or that we, you know, have made, you know, had birth to gave birth to because of the communities we live in. Um, some of the circumstances they might, you know, our, our children, our nephews or whatever, nieces get themselves into, uh, product of their own environment type of thing, you know, you know, um, pum pums happen, you know, all kind of unalivings happen, you know, if you don't tell somebody, and I'm going to use like family that you love, if you love them so much and you're the, the you're the um biggest supporter and biggest fan if you're constantly telling them whether they do right or wrong that it's right even when they're doing wrong you trying to still make it make sense trust and believe cuz i know in, in in my own life and i know other people who have experienced this you are going to have lifetime regrets cuz you're going to have that i wish i would have or could have you know, or say if you have a family member, let's use that as an example, that may have unalived themselves. You may have said, I wish that I would have knew. I wish that I would have told them more. I love them. And I wish they would have knew that they were loved. You know what I'm saying? I wish they would have, you know, the wish the or could have. And, and that's the same thing with Christian Rock. If you, if, if you, everything people say about her, whether they're haters and they're being like in a messed up place, where they're just being demonic. Regardless, if she if she drops the ball, which she's not perfect, we all drop the ball at one time or another. You got to hold the person accountable. If you're real, if you're a realist, if you're a real person, you got to hold them accountable. And I'm going to tell you why. You think being real is when they're doing wrong, but you support them, that you're just going to, um, whatever they do, you, you're going to sit there. You're going to make it make sense. You think you're being a friend or supporter, but you're really not. You're telling them what they want to hear, not what they need to hear. And, you, and you're, you're one of the people that are putting batteries in a person's back who does not come from stability at all. It was, she, her, she didn't have a mother or a father, in my opinion. And they were active, allegedly. And in and out of jail because of the love of pharmaceutical drugs. I mean, well, street drugs, pharmaceutical drugs too. They let they let they let the street, they set a run in the streets, they let they um they try to outrun the street. And they got caught up and laid up probably half the time. You know, Krishan's mother was probably, you know, Lord forgive me for saying this, but we gotta call it what it is. How you have 12 kids, you don't got no stability for these kids. I, I've heard the stories of them all living in one bedroom. Why put 12 kids through that when you have a decision? If you're not doing right, if you ain't a good parent with one kid, why and you're on and you already you already got a um a love for something else which ain't gonna come before your kids, which is which is which is the drug. Why are you laying up having kids and only ones taking care of them is the system or each other? Why do you think that there's so much dysfunction in the Malone family? Why do you think that they get up here? Oh, I'm going to fix you. I'm going to get on social media because Krishan's our sister. And I'm going to get an audience and I'm going to vent to the public. Not only are you vent to the public. There's thousands of millions that are potentially over a, a certain, a short amount of time is going to know all y'all's family business. And we all know when you put people in your business, they stay in your business. Krishan is going to be sick if Blueface gets up before her. Right, exactly. And, and let me get back onto that. Let me just say this to you. Hope if he gets out first, he leaves Junior with... I ain't let's Tiffany. Let's not even don't even bring up that little boy name now, cause cause then later on I'll be getting harassed talking about I'm talking let let with this grown folk conversation right now. Love you, I love you, I love you, sis Tiff. But nah, let's not bring that up. We talking about Krishan Rock and Blueface. I don't want to hear nobody trying to say because that's another thing. Two people make me sick with the you know the, they they only say 
sometimes people, you know how like there's a, you know, they, they're old sayings. Sometimes people say old sayings and they don't really know what they mean. They're not even living by it. It just sounds right. It just sounds like the grown up thing to say. You feel what I'm saying? Like, like the, the old saying that I live by, which is, I'm not going to tell you what you want to hear. I'm going to tell you what you need to hear. Um, some people say sayings that they don't live by. You know what I'm saying? And like when you hear people saying, you know, lead the kids out of it. Y'all shouldn't be up here. That's true. But how sincere in your heart? I'm not talking about you, Tiffany. I'm just talking about in general. When I when, when when I heard you say junior, it made me think of something. When I be hearing people in the comment section of my videos after the lives are over or my pre-recorded premieres, you hear people uh, trying to sound grown. And you're probably the worst trolls with like 20 pages that are dragging Krishan and Junior's name because you don't like Krishan. But you up here now on another page, it's still a troll page, and you're sitting up there saying the responsible thing when you know there ain't nothing responsible about you. And you're probably the type of person you tell your kid to go to school and behave the teacher, but then you be on social media acting worse than your child. And it just don't make no sense. The whole family is divided in huge age generation. Yep, exactly. That's why I like listening to you. You talk your fact. Is that I, like man? It's great. No, Tiffany, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a come and choke you on, on cyberspace. You better not be saying you apologize. You ain't do nothing wrong. You my mod and you you ride or die. I'm not talking when you said that name. It. I just was saying, like, shut it down, but you didn't do anything wrong. You do not have to apologize. Stop it. This ain't this ain't no this ain't no cult channel. You didn't do nothing wrong. I was just trying to say we ain't gonna say too much on that because we'll get people in the comment section that want their little want two one one or two minute of fame, and they'll sit up here and they'll take it somewhere else. And this the title of this video ain't got nothing to do with little shorty. It, it's got something to do. It don't even got Krishan's rock name in there. It's got something to do with Blueface and Krishan Rock. And sometimes if I put Blueface in the title, that don't mean, we, of course we're going to talk about Krishan on Rock. They're one and the same. Make sure y'all hit that like button because y'all don't like it. And that's only the 1% I'm speaking to. I'm not talking about my real supporters. Not talking about the ones that sit up here and absorb the information. And if you don't like me, hit the like button. Let me know how many people don't like me. Let me know how many people is in my chat. Let me know if because you can't talk to me in real life, okay? And I ain't gonna give you my number, especially not no hater, right? So, um, at least if you hit the like button, I'll know how many haters was in here. Unfortunately, Chris Sean and her siblings were raised to fight for every little thing they have, which is probably why they always, yep. And that's sad, they're almost like renegades, and it's really sad. It's really sad. Make sure y'all hit that like button. Hey, Cyrus. Hey, Cyrus. Tiffany, love you, baby. You Get off that. We don't even need to stay on that. Thank you, Kathy. Make sure y'all subs um, subscribe to my second channel. Let me um, actually go up. My second channel, the link. I don't know if one of my mods maybe could put the... Um, Copy and paste the um the link that's in the top of the description for my second channel because I'm gonna try to do a live tomorrow. Not try, I'm gonna. I forgot how I used to redirect people from my um second channel from my main channel. I'll I'll think I've been fasting almost 72 hours, man. I feel really good. I mean, I a lot of people say it and I'd be like, you're lying, because I fast try to fast. Plenty of times as, as far as like no food, not even juices, raw juices. I'm talking about I'm fasting. I, I, I do better with dry fast, which means no water or food. So I only drink water if I feel like I'm I'm thirsty um, or like if I get like a growling feeling, which I know it's only the hormone growling. And it, it's, it's, it's just the addiction to food. It, it, it's really not. It's a false it's a false that growling that we get a lot of times is a is just it's an addiction um because we're so addicted to food um you know so i and i know that so it's mind over matter so i'm not hungry because we have so much fat stores in our bodies trust and believe you can go a long 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 time without eating you can probably go most of us 
on average 40 days or longer to or longer and honey your your body will have a feast on on that fast but anyways getting off the subject of that but you all know i bounce around so it is what it is but you know you know she being very selfish i feel like Krishan rock was and I, I really feel like her attitude was like, I'm waiting for my daddy to get home and then he can support me and go to court, the court, um, the courts in all these different states and help me clear up these warrants. And we'll be one big happy family. We'll end up buying the house on the beach and all these things that she had in her head that she was waiting for when he came home. But you know what the, the sad reality is? You wasted all that time and all that money you could be making. And money doesn't make the world go round. But let me tell you what it does do. It makes you live easier. It takes one stressor off of you. How is this bill going to be paid? How am I going to um, get through the week and make sure there's food in the refrigerator? You know what I'm saying? It makes you live easier. And when a man tells you to stop being a woman because... If you as a woman told a man to stop working and stop being a man, because that's what makes a man a man, not what what the um what they got between their legs. What makes a man a man is taking care of his business, holding his ground, protecting his queen, protecting his his household, his family. And when 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 a man tells a woman to stop doing those things, and he's locked up and he can't do it, and he wasn't even doing it when he was out. He ain't no man. So right now, I want to see not only the entertainment that he brings, but I want to see him man up. I want to see the brother man man up. Because it is, um, Blueface is not no man, honey. He is not no man. He is a boy, if you ask me. He is a boy. Let me read these. It said, I try fast and I'm too greedy. I'm too greedy too, you know, and I eat clean, but sometimes it's not the eating clean, it's the just overeating, just eating because it's there or eating because you have a lot of time on your hands and you're just eating because you're bored. I can't admit that. There are plenty of times when they judge Krishan a little. This is plenty of times when I judge Krishan a little too harsh, but makes that's all you make. Yeah, I show compassion, but I had got for but prior to her getting locked up, I had got to a point where I was like, enough's enough. You know, she's starting to drain my energy while while I'm trying to show compassion because I know she, you know, she didn't really come from nothing and she's trying to make, you know, she you know she's doing better than a lot of people. I know financially. I, you know, a lot of people might say, she ain't got no my bet you she got probably more money than you do. You know what I'm saying? That's how I look at it. You know, I'm not I'm not pocket watching nobody, but I bet you she's doing a lot better than a lot of the a lot of people. You know what I'm saying? And, and, and she came from a very unfortunate situation. So, you know, I can't really, uh, you know, knock that. And a lot of people would not be where Krishan Rock is at right now if they came from those circumstances. Right. I eat once a day, literally queen. So that's like an old man, which is still fasting. Um, yeah, so, you know, like I said, but yeah, I keep getting sidetracked. Let me say this to you guys, because I keep getting sidetracked. Let me just say this to you. The reason why, and I keep starting it and stopping reading comments and then getting on something else. But the reason why I feel like she's very selfish is because not only was she just waiting for him, um, to come home and help her, you know, support her in the way she's need needed Blueface to support her. But she had that young mentality thought in her mind. Oh, he's going to come home to me. I'm going to give him some of this good, good that I got. And he going to give me some of that and the conda that he got. You know what I'm saying? But you did all of that, and we already know it's been it's been it's been recorded and documented on social media. But you gotta respect the young man for this. He admits all to him. Not that's not what I'm thinking. I'm just telling you what he has said, and I know he's not playing because he not only says it, but he shows you in his actions. That's how he gets down. He even says all men cheat, and if he tells you he's not, he lying. And I don't believe it all, Menchie. There are men 
in in the world, just like they're women, that they're loyal. If they're in a relationship, that's who they're with. But we're, not, we're talking about blue face. So let's not get far off onto you or me. or We're talking about blue face. You don't think that Jaden is going to take that opportunity if he tries to come on to her, which he is. And if he don't come on to her because he don't want, maybe he don't want to start the circus back up between them two fighting again. Because they're the only two that really held him down. Jaden was listening to what he was saying. His father's bringing the son up there to see him. I don't know what else she was doing. Maybe she was also sending canteen money and whatever. I don't know. But we know that Krishan Rock was doing it. Because she made it known. But let me just tell you something. If he don't get it from Jaden, it is no way he's going to, he's going to, I'm telling you, there's no way he's going to get out and he's going to say, I'm going to wait for Krishan Rock like she's doing. Not even like she said, put a Y in the chat when you heard that crazy girl talking about she hasn't even shaved her. Woo-ha. Her, you know, her yoni. She said it, had, it was growing an afro. I guess you could corn roll it. Put a Y in the chat if you heard her say that. And it's crazy. Because he he's not going to do none of the things for you. And I don't care how much of a diehard supporter you are of her. Even with this, what I'm saying. I'm a realist. I ain't going to sit there and sugarcoat it. I'm not going to tell you just because I support and, you know, and I want to see, you know, Krishan Rock do good. I'm not going to tell you no, no, um, no, um, Joe flip ahead answer. W when we already know how the dude gets down. Now, if you're going to, if you're going to support Krishan, cool, but don't, don't support, don't support Krishan in, in the, um, in the aspect of you you sitting up there making it make sense that Blueface ain't going to do that to Krishan because she's Krishan. Because Hunty, the finest chicks in the world, supermodels get cheated on. Or disappointed from a man, right? I took a break from all that. It was depressing. I'm playing catch up. That's what's up, Priya, Pure Goddess. Says me too, one. I was wise ones inside. How oh, I truly understand. I chose the three yourself. Right. You got it right. Exactly. You got to be in that order. I just have a big heart. I hate seeing people hurt. I've been through DV. Not, me too. I probably had it worse than you. If I told you some of my stories, you'd be sitting there saying you was a victim. I, I can never say it. If, if a man put his hand on you, even pushed you one time. You, it's a DV, but trust and believe. I've been there, done that. I've been there, done that. But um, you know, I I'm, I feel sorry for people too because I can look at my shoes and I walked, in, so I can walk in somebody else's shoes that are going through that. But um, like I said, I'm not. I can't put batteries in people's back because I I'm I'm also convinced a lot of times people. I used to date a narcissist boyfriend, and the minute I left him alone, my life was so much better. Girl, that even went back to school to get. Girl, let me tell you something. I told an ex maybe about a year ago, because I'm married. I've been married since 2016. My husband got like, what, 15 years on me? Matter of fact, let me do the, let me do the math. Look how silly I am. Yeah, he got 15 years on me. Yeah, I just wanted to make sure. It's been so long. I used to say it a lot. My husband got 15 years on me. So I was about to say 10, but no, he got 15 years on me. My husband's much older than me. But um, I always, I always was the type of woman I always got with men that were providers, but they were controlling. And they got abuse, you know, DVs and all that. Want to control everything. And that, but some people, some women, they, they attract, like I attract men that are very possessive and they want to get, you know, physical, like they trying to raise you again, you know, but they get men that they're not even providing for you. And I'm not trying to say be with a man or let them, you know, uh, rattle your head in between two washing machines. But I'm saying, you know, the, the dude ain't even providing for you and you're getting your head, your, 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 uh, your head rattled. That's crazy. I've been with my partner for 24 years, but one thing I would not do is get married. Oh, you sound like my mother, because my mother, she's not married. She don't want to get married. Knowledge is power. That's right. But, um, yeah, 
it's just, you know, you know, it's just sad. You did all of that. Now she's sitting there in jail. Could have could have avoided all that. Even her haters were telling her, go clear that up. And you know, they they wanted her to sabotage themselves. But see, like Wack 100, for an example, he knew if he told her the truth, she won't do the opposite. Because that's what we always do when somebody tells us something for our own good. So he said, you know, the way I can sabotage Krishan Rock is telling her the truth. Because she ain't going to listen to me because she don't like me. So I'm going to get what I want out of her out of return because she's going to, I'm going to say, go clear up your warrants. And she's going to say, I can't stand you, Wack 100. Why would I listen to you and not do it? And just what Carlissa, and even though she claims she feels bad, and Wack 100, and probably low key Papa Blue, in my opinion, all of them, they was just waiting for the, the train to crash. They were putting batteries in her back. Uh, Papa Blue, you feel what I'm saying? When WAC 100 came up here with that corny, um, you know, I have to realize that Blueface is in love with Krishan Rock and this and that and other. No, what you had to realize is all these game plans that you got. Like Keefe D, you wanted to build him out of jail. With, what was it, 15% of that $750,000 or $700,000 bond that he got? So you could um, get a story from him. So you could be in public with him and people would want to uh, run up to you, news reporters, and would make you bigger than what you are as a, a WAC 100, a manager of the game. Uh, once upon a time for Ray J and Blueface, honey, you was trying to get your coins up because Blueface, who probably at one point in time was one of his biggest cash cows, is now he's slipping same here 15 years been with him since uh, 2000 and we were married since a i got married to my husband right away so i've been married with him the same amount of time i've been with him but um i was like i gotta get these coins i didn't want nobody else getting them coins you know what i'm saying I, i'm blessed in that aspect you know I'm not trying to say be with a man because he take care of you because I take care of myself. But it's nice to be able to do what you want to do in your life and you don't have to worry about working a, a regular traditional nine to five because you have a provider and you're able to 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 do your dreams. I've been doing to, um this channel since 2017. I was doing I was doing me before I was with my husband. You know what I'm saying? I always, I've always, it's probably, see, I always say having anxiety could be a curse or a blessing. So I'm a type of person, I can't, I have moments where my anxiety flares up. So I need to be working for myself, doing my own thing. You feel what I'm trying to say to you? So I've been working, I've been like working, like, you know, um, self-employed for years, I, at least. What is this? Let me do the math. Let me see how many years this is. Yeah, I be yeah, I use that little calculator. I use my fingers too. Let me see. It's gotta be. Let me do the math on that. I'm just trying to think roughly around. Yeah, I've been out, I, I've been out of work self-employed like 24 years. I had to do the math. I don't know why I had to do the math. I know y'all probably like, oh no, she did. Yes, I did. I sure did. I sure did. Tell the truth and shame the devil. Yeah, I was I was roughly um, remembering maybe yeah. When did September 11th happen? I think it was in 2020. I mean, no, not 2020. Oh, sorry. In 2000, I said 2020. That's one thing about Krishan. She don't want to hear what she needs to hear. She likes yes man. Right. Exactly. She definitely likes yes man. And, and don't be fooled, Krishan. She's got a really good heart. But some of her demonic ways can come out with the people who love her the most that that um they wish that they could be Krishan Rock, but and they really respect her that are in her circle. But see, sometimes that respect and wanting to love on you can turn to um hate because sometimes because of generational curses that um Krishan has endured from not having a mother or father and having to fend for herself you, you you did you hear when blueface has said in that video when he met Krishan she came with a a, a backpack and a pair of cleats 
That's all she had. He's going to tell that story to the test of time because, remember, he thinks in his mind he made her who she is. Now, he may have got her and put it in the game, but she, 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 you, you taught her, the, you taught her the class and she mastered it. She's better than you when it comes to making money. You feel what I'm saying? But he, he wants her to always show homage in and she, she, um, feels that she has to show homage in because he has, brainwashed he washed the brain blueface has and made her feel as though she does deserve to show homage in pay respect and also publicly let people know that he made her who she is not knowing that nobody made you who you are but you god if you want to give credit to anybody it better be god i think that nevada judge got the cash app that was released in return from Oh, no, you didn't. Tiffany. Yeah, that's why I'm an educated autism. Oh, oh, wow. I also work medical 23 years in student. Boss working from home, medical, cold biller. Oh, yeah, I know somebody did that too. Got, got to keep money coming in different avenues. That's what's up. That's right. You got to have more than one income stream. And that's what's going on over here with me. And, and I've been doing that for years. Shoot, two over oh, almost three decades. So, man, I've been. Shh, I'm trying to tell you, and you know, it's a good feel. I'm not. I'm not rich. Uh, and I'm not poor, but I'll tell you one thing. A long, long time ago, and I can't remember how long ago it's been. That's how long it's been. I don't like waking up stressing out about bills. How is this bill going to get paid? How is this going to be this and that and that? I, no, I don't. And when I pay bills, I pay them to zero balance. I mean, eat my cable bill, gas, lights, whatever. I make sure I don't like owing no bill. I pay. I don't care. I, I was raised from my mother. You're not really broke if, you're, if your rent's paid, if your bills are paid, and you got food in your refrigerator. How are you really broke? What do you really need money for if your rent is paid when you're not getting evicted? You got food in your refrigerator and your bills are paid. So, you know what I'm saying? But that's the only reason why I need money. I've already had labels and I said, I'm going to always have designer because I choose to, to dress like that. Not because I'm trying to keep up with the Joneses. But that stuff is 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 superficial to me. I've been there. I've done that. I don't I don't need the, um growing up it was instilled in me to have the, the, the finer things in life. My father was in the um, fashion and my mother and my, and my grandmother, my grandmother was 80, almost eight, 90 years old when she passed away. And she never even had that old time furniture. She always updated her living room set, her bedroom sets. Everything in her house was from Jordan's furniture. My grand, my grandmother, my mother's mother. I've always lived in a house where we never had like old furniture and, Everything my mother always when she when she first learned how to drive, which I was a teenager, so she she started she learned how to drive later on in life. When I was a teenager, she learned how to drive. I must have been about 14. My mother never bought no hoopty, her first car. She bought an up-to-date car. Um, and she 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 lives my mother to this day is flashy, but she worked for it. You understand what I'm saying? I'm only two professions that I know of that my mother ever did for work, which was a hairdresser. That's why I went to cosmetology a school because of my mom, you know, falling behind her footsteps. I could do hair. I never got my license, but I can do some hair. Um, not braids. I got two left hands. I don't do no braids. I always had hair. I don't even know how to braid my own hair. I've never had my hair no small braids. But um, I'm talking about hair care. Like, you know, I can put layers. I can color your hair. You know what I'm saying? I'll roller set, I'll roller set your hair. Look like oil sheen was on your hair. I'll roller set. Every strand will be bone straight. I know how to buff buff the hair when you uh, do a wash and blow dry, so it looks like oil sheen was on it. I'll get every strand, even if you if your hair is natural, no relaxer chemicals in it. I'll get your hair bone straight. You'll be looking like Becky up in here with the flyaway. <laughs> This girl really don't have nobody in her corner, and that's why she's, yeah, she she doesn't. But sometimes we got to be in our own corner because what I've learned, because there's been times people weren't in my corner either, is if you can't be by yourself, you can't be with nobody. 
Let me keep up with these comments because I'm talking more than I'm even reading these comments. That's right. It says Cali is already expensive. Have to have three jobs here. And I'm trying to tell you, well, I'm from Boston, Mass. So you know I know about the expensive. That's why if you ask why you live in Rhode Island, because it's cheaper. I can live like a queen out here. I mean, the rent, everything. It says, I have two girls and I taught them never depend on a me. My mother taught me and my sister that too, because I got a younger sister. She's a couple of years younger than me. It's a first of something to fall back. Exactly. Yes, you help us all that you. It says, let's see, you follow own dreams. We can succeed. We exactly, exactly, Tiffany. It says, no matter how difficult the keeps receipts. It says, I'm from Frisco, Sacramento since 19. Okay, California in the building. Make sure y'all hit that like button. Hit the like button. Yes, life is much more blessed than stress if you... It says, yeah, make sure y'all hit that like button. Hit that like button. Hey, Big Ben Dan, how you doing? How you doing? Let me see how them likes are looking. Matter of fact, let me make sure my connection's okay. That's what I need to be paying attention to, too, because my connection's been kind of kind of funny, man. I'll make sure that connection's okay. Let me see. I'm going to go look at my likes, and then I'm going to take that tab down because when I be having too many tabs open, my connection be like, we ain't no Fios, Verizon Fios over here, ma'am. You fitting the, you fitting to have your whole set? Yeah, let's yeah, let's try to get them likes up. Come on, them likes look like they're on a diet. I mean, come on now, y'all come in here, and I'm only talking about the one percenters. I know the people that support me; they know when they come in to at least leave a like or dislike on the video. But come on now, come on, let's get them likes up. I think I, I don't care if you're if you're a channel holder and you got a million subscribers. We all run into that same problem with people not wanting to hit that like button. I can't wait till YouTube takes a take that takes that away and stops using that as a factor because you can tell you don't even need for them to hit the like or dislike button. I mean, what is that like a gr a grown person's toy uh, or, or to use against the channel holders to hit the like or dislike button? You can, I mean, YouTube can tell if they like the content for for how long they stay on the video. They don't even need that measurement. You feel what I'm saying? Because you can get a hater that will sit and watch your whole content until you get off this, 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 um, this, yeah, yeah I mean. And you, that don't mean they're going to like the video, but they probably did like it. Unpopular opinion. My interest is much better. You said better with blue face. My internet is much better with blue face. What does that mean, Buttercup? What are you saying? It says, hey, I'm sorry, sis had a call from me. That's okay, Latisse. We got we got some mods in here holding it down. Tiffany's in this piece. Metal Beach, kick back, listen to the waves. Oh, wow, drink in my cup. I know that's right. And listening to my favorite content creator. Oh, right. that's what's up. Ben, Big Ben. It says like, uh, free. right, and they're anonymous. You, It's not like I would be able to um know. Y'all don't even know how many likes and dislikes I get because I private mine because I, I want people to make their own opinions up of whether they're going to hit the like or dislike. Because if, if if I feel like if they, if you've seen it, you know, you know, people, uh, you know, they tend to, you know, they tend to be followers and not leaders, believe it or not. People don't like to admit that they're, they're followers, but a lot of people are followers. You know what I'm saying? It's cracking me up because it's like soon as Blueface or Christian Rock, if they get out at the same time, soon as they get out, everybody and their mama are going to be wanting to be 
um on anybody's channel where they can get the tea from. You know what I'm saying? But let me just say this to you. It also, what saddens me is how much one man can have control over two women. Like Krishan Rock, man, I know she's a strong female. But don't, don't be walking around like you this big and bad chick. With It says, saying I prefer the internet without blue face. He said, oh, you prefer them without blue face. Oh, okay. Yeah, make sure y'all hit that like button. But don't act like you the big bad wolf. But soon as, but soon as um Blueface go to jail and put some demands on you, you show your true stripes. And you know, and then all of a sudden you're gonna get out and he gonna piss you off, and then you're gonna be up here acting like I'm the realest, won't kill this house, you know, all this like sit down. You you were sitting down when he was when he was um when he was in jail. Like you said, doing time with him, sounding all crazy, talking about you doing time with him. Don't get back up here performing, for real. Stop the press. Because that's a big, that time. I don't care what nobody say, you know, I'm going to support, I support Krishan when she's doing right, and I, I, it, and I support her when she's doing wrong, but I'm going to tell her about herself. However, you know, I'm still going to defend her, but at the, but at the same time, good. You man, you went out bad with that one. You know, and it's you know what I'm saying. And as hard as it is to make money on social media, and you getting this easy, and, and you know what I'm saying. You you know how many people I would have uns I would have unfollowed you too around that time when you said what you said, even though we know you're not a colorist, because people were probably mad like you mad with the fans for telling you about how you Joe Flipperhead. And now you want to call us names, and now now people out here labeling you as a colorist, which we know she's not no colorist. But they were probably more mad, like, how can you get an attitude? You ain't got to get up and do no nine to five. I got to get up after I get finished washing, watching this simple Simon stuff that you on. And, and I got to work. I go to work tired listening to this simple Simon stuff you on. You make money. You don't. She makes money so easy, she don't even know how she makes it. You know how hard it is to make money on, on, on the internet? And here you here you taking advantage of it. That's why I always say people should not have kids that are not qualified. This should be a law that some people can't have no kids. Because that is from the generational curses that she don't even know how good she got it. Sometimes when you have, when, when you're only used to one thing in life, you ain't used to having nothing. That's how you act. Just tonight, my 16-year-old friends won't be. You can be lead Right, of the pack, exactly. I just think it's crazy. His charge is worse than hers, but she's slapped on. Right. Yeah, that's what I said, too. His is worse than hers. But maybe, Buttercup, that's a sign to her. Maybe that's a sign to her. She needs to get it right. You know what I'm saying? Maybe that's a sign. That's a sign. She got to get it right. Cause I know she's sitting back saying the same thing. I'm gonna. I know she's happy for him. She's probably more happy for him than she is for herself. But yeah, she's got to get it right and stuff. You're right. I will admit his charges were wor way worse. And I know people are big mad about that. And and, and you know, he is, she's sitting in jail like Joe Flipperhead, and he about to get out any day now. Cause that's what's gonna be updated soon. His release date. You know, people are on the 24 hour watch for that. And it's so sad. I'm going to tell you something, Buttercup. And I respect your opinion. And like you said, it might not be the favorable one, but my, my opinion might not be the favorable one, too. But Buttercup, let me tell you this. You know, because Krishan Rock probably had a bigger support system than um, Blueface, but she took a, advantage of it. And gave people her, you know what, the kiss. 
for this dude instead of them really wanting to see her get out they don't want to see it get out because they knew when she was out she wasn't doing nothing you know what i'm saying because social media is her job and she was she wasn't on her game she, she didn't have to be up here with no drama we know he was in jail but she could have been up here at least you know supporting people that support her and she wasn't doing that and she has to understand uh blue face don't make you who you are your fans do hold on one second guys okay i'm back guys um put a y in the chat let me read these um comments put a y in the chat if y'all seen that uh that uh recording of Krishan Rock's niece on uh I don't know if she was on Instagram. I think it's Instagram she was on and then um they put it on TikTok or whatever. It's all over the place now. But um she, um her saying she don't care too much for Krishan Rock her own aunt. Tasiki's um daughter. Put a Y in the chat if y'all seen that. I know Tasiki was pissed. Let me keep up with these comments now. It's like to the point where I'm going to let y'all know I acknowledge them. But I'm way behind. Yeah, but like I said, Buttercup, you know, because I'm a little bit delayed on the comments. But hey, she did it to herself. And yeah, she was dropping the ball. And I don't care what nobody says. I really believe that um, he wasn't really. I don't care what nobody says. It's just my opinion. I don't think he was really um, caping for her to um, to go and clear up her legal obligations because he needed her to be out here to pay that every two months 15000 for that restaurant. And that's just my opinion. That's just my opinion. Yeah. Not yet to seek his daughter. Nope, never saw it. Yeah, it's it's out there on the... It's, matter of fact, let me... I'll pull it up, but I'm not going to pull her face up, so let me see how I can do this. Hold on. So I will share it, but I'll, I'll do this. I'll do it like this where you can hear it, but I will certainly not be showing it. No, no, actually, I'm not going to do that. I just, not only am I not going to do it because, you know, she's a young, you know, a youngin, but also the little girl that was in the video was cussing. I, I don't got time to be having to delete that stuff. Yeah, she had a little fresh little friend. She had a little fresh potty mouth. And I was saying to myself, ooh, child. And uh, Tzatziki's uh, daughter said real quickly, shh. Because she knew if Tzatziki came in that room, <clears throat> thank you, Cyrus. She would have been like, oh, no. Oh, so they, what they're doing, um, Big Ben Dan, was they're doing, um, they're doing the building over. Uh, what is it called? Renovating it. So, you know, they haven't, that business hasn't been open, you're correct, for quite some time. But allegedly, he's renovating it. And I don't think that his mother's hands is going to be in it this time. He's going to be managing it himself. Yeah, but yes, you know, Latisse, you know, in, in a perfect world, things would have been better. And, you know, the proper measures would have been taken. But like I said... Krishan herself wasn't even moving right. So it's like, you know, it's, it's, you know, sometimes people get to the point, even your loved ones, don't cry wolf now. Um, so getting right into it, make sure you all hit that like button, hit that like button. But I do agree with um, some of the responses to hearing the updates with uh, Blueface. Now we are, you know, bored. We're, we're bored without Blueface. And we're definitely bored without Krishan Rock. We were bored without Blueface prior to Krishan Rock getting uh, locked up. However, we all know that they are the Bonnie and Clyde of social media. Um, so early this morning, because I'm an early bird, I got up and I did get a notification about a change in uh, Blueface's uh, supervision uh, status or whatever, or somebody else taking over on his probation. I paid no attention to it. However, the greatest and the latest Hennessy review, I'm going to show a snippet of what is important, which is that 
pretty much from what I'm being told or hearing, he got a slap on the wrist in Nevada. Uh, he still is facing the alleged rumors of meth being found in his cell, which we know was confirmed by WAC 100, even though we know he lies, that it was tested for weed. And WAC 100 said it was THCA, less than 3% weed, which we all know um, that it's considered something that you're not supposed to have, paraphernalia, paraphernalia that's not supposed to be in the jail. That's like saying, oh, um, he just had ecstasy. That's a man-made drug. Uh, or, or, or um, in fact, meth, which is a man-made drug. So that's not really a drug, but it was found in his room, so he's not going to be in trouble. So, you know, pretty much that's how silly Whack 100 sound when he tried to, uh, well, when he had to come to the defense of Blueface because allegedly he said a channel holder had exposed it. I guess coming to the court appearances, a lot of stuff was exposed from overhearing things or being in the court. Uh, maybe the judge speaking on it because that allegedly is why Blueface was in court the day in questioning when Krishan Rock had to um, go in the court to see about her blue daddy and got arrested or set up um, or whatever, whatever happened that day. You know, it's allegedly. However, they're saying, um, the legal docs are saying it, it appears that he got a slap on the wrist. So the really uh, strong case that could have held him did not help hold him at all. Now, that judge, she was, you know, I, I'll tell you one thing. If you come back in here, you're going to have something to pay for. She was going to, um, you know, sock it to him. But obviously, she was having a good day, and she had a change of fate. And he's not no longer in any kind of sort of trouble as father's doing any more time. They're allegedly saying that they're going to run it concurrent. So he's not getting away with the act. However, it's going to be tacked on to his probation time. And like I keep telling you guys, probation is time on layaway. So understand that. Make sure you all put a like or dislike in the uh, comment section. Now, I'm going to uh, play the section that I want you guys to hear of the actual um, documents that were put on the file for the public to see what is going on, what is the status with Blueface. But keep in mind, even though the more serious charge in the, in the state of Nevada, which is the attempt, attempted unalive, aliving with the pew pew, uh, the probation he has there, she spared him. Hey, Jennifer, you're the first one in the uh, live. She definitely spared him. Um, however, we just might not know. California, they could, because it's not really a serious, serious offense, they could, you know, let it go. Sometimes they do. Sometimes they put you in a hole. I don't know if he's put in a hole because, remember, it was exposed um, by another channel holder, let WAC 100 tell the story. And that was the only reason why WAC 100 was forced in his hand to have to even explain that to the public, what was going on about that situation. So we don't know if he got put in a hole for 30 days for it. That was his punishment. We don't know if he's going to have to do some extra time. We know his time has been pushed back because there have been an ongoing case. Uh, let WAC 100 tell it. Uh, of three months of them fighting this case of what was found in his um, cell. So we have to stay tuned. So as far as we know, he's definitely not going to do a few years in Nevada because he got more probation and time in Nevada than he has in California. That's like a, um, that's like a, um, you know, California is a cakewalk. So definitely I can say, you know, in my opinion, still, just to be safe, that Blueface was, in fact, coming home. So, um, you know, but what I don't get is how <laughs> he's coming home, but Christian Rock had lesser non-serious charges, and she's being put through the ringer. Thank you for your truth. We need more people like you on here. Thank you, Jennifer. Thank you, sweetie. 
Star, good morning, Miss Davis. So he's coming home before her. Yep. So that's what it seems like. He's coming home before her because we see that Oklahoma is being really petty. Um, And, you know, like I said, playing devil's advocate. I also got a couple. Of, I have a surprise for you. I want to um, share something with you as well after I let you listen to the legal docs of that. Blueface, in fact, was cut a break. But I wanted to also share something else with you, um, giving you an example of how I view or how serious uh, the super fans and supporters can be uh, in these situations of the social media entities like Christian Rock and Blueface. I think people take it way too far. Good morning, Nessie. Good morning. Queen Grandma Rocks, thank you for keeping us updated on Blueface and Christian Rock updates. Thank you. I said the same thing. She had light work. Right, exactly, Nessie. Whack. Have house in Oklahoma, he told. She was on the run and beating people up, catching charges. Yeah, she was doing a lot of stuff, but I think that she's learning slowly but surely and i think that a lot of people like people i know in my real life they're learning from things that they have done i know i've learned from things that i've done in my past so i don't hold people hostage to the yesterday you know no one's above life's classroom is how i look at it so you know that's how i you know see it maybe the reason blueface is coming home is because he did turn himself in with christian right he and see that see that's funny you brought that up cuz now we can play devil's advocate again Linda G but what you said is exactly how I looked at it it's better for you when you have a warrant to turn yourself in because it looks good to you to the courts that you acknowledge that you have warrants whether you have one or two at this point it's not about beating yourself up oh i got warrants and you know i'm afraid that they're going to do this and that it's taking accountability so because Blueface took accountability, he's serving a sentence. Also, uh, L.A. County jails are overcrowded. It just makes it that much easier. And he's also a flight risk. Even though he's put in a protected space because of his status, he's still always going to be a liability to that jail until they release him. So even though he's now going to be fighting this case in California, he's not fighting... Um, whether or not they're going to violate his probation and sentence him in Nevada. Allegedly, as of what I'm hearing from what I took from it, um, he's coming home. Be and the reason why it's a little safe to say he's coming home because he had worse charges in Nevada, the unaliving with the pew pew. Now, what was found, and it probably it was probably a small amount, which was probably enough that they could charge him for. Um, not for distributing, but for personal use. I don't think for a small crime like that, even though it's a felony, it would be considered a petty crime, in my opinion, in my opinion, disclaimer, only because they have bigger fish to fry. Um, and they just cannot take the chance of just having somebody in there serving a sentence and then doing five or six more months on top of that or year or whatever, some harsh sentence, you know, um, behind his stupidity because they need it for more serious um, felons, you know, people that, um, that are, uh, you know, committing serious crimes. Let me read these. I watched. She was on them. It says, at this point, he can be her support assist. Right, right. I hope. <laughs> Lucky girl, I hope so. Yes, it does. Thank you so much for this update. Yes. And, I, and I'm very happy. I'm mad at um, Blueface because I feel as though, you know, I seen his Snapchat. Um, I was going to do an edit to it. Also put that up. I don't know. Maybe if I do a later live today, um, if I have the energy and I'm not tired, I'll probably do that. Everyone can go over there anyways and see it. But I just feel as though, you know, he should have took the time out, did a jail call with Bodine or WAC 100, and at least mention, good morning, Latisse, you know, Krishan Rock. She represents him. Make sure y'all hit that like button. Hit the like button as y'all come in. Show some love and hit the like button, please. 
But, you know, like I said, you know, Blueface is who Blueface is, and Krishan is who Krishan is, you know. And, and I think sometimes women love harder than men, or at least I'll say that men love probably just as hard as women. However, they don't show it like women do. We're more passionate and sensitive where men aren't. But anyways, getting off of that, can't wait for him to um, come home. Um, I was listening to something that Carlissa put up with the blonde head. She's going blonde now. The blonde head hooligan had on her head. And it just sounded like she's not even in the, the loop of the, the, the good news that her son's coming home. She was talking about, you know, he had a liquor license. He had so much going for himself. Um, you know, now he, I guess he's pretty much got to worry about getting this restaurant that he's building up or re renovating. Um, um, and he, but he's behind bars, you know, she's kind of sort of blaming everybody. And she was dragging her daughter because allegedly, and I didn't really get too much in it. And I'm going to start getting into to a lot of stuff that's in this circus because I'm not going to just continuously report on Krishan Rock and Blueface. I will give updates, of course, daily updates, but I want to give updates of everything that's going on so it makes sense. So everything comes to a circle. And it's not like a, a half circle with a with an entrance, an empty, an empty hole, and uh, what's next, or how did this come about type. We're going to make sure we complete the circle. So I'm going to start reporting on that. And I'm also going to start doing a lot of stuff that, you know, is relevant to the circus and all this BS that's going on. But, you know, you know, we're going to it's going to be put it like this. You guys miss Blueface and you guys miss Christian Rock. All right. But trust me, you guys are going to be so after a month, you're going to be wanting them to go away. Like a lot of you guys were saying you know what I'm saying? At the beginning, you was like, man, they just need to get off of social media. I'm so tired of this mess. Y'all will, I'll give it 30 days. Y'all are going to be burnt out. She only wants her own fame and platform. Right. Yeah. Make sure y'all hit that like button. Yep. Yeah. Carlissa is drama queen. Yep. She's definitely a drama queen, Jennifer. Um, but yeah, she, um, he's coming home. It's the funny thing is he'll probably be coming home before, um, you know, uh, Krishan Rock. And it probably also looks good for Blueface because California is going to be looking at if they drop those serious charges that would have violated him. And that's why he's sitting in California doing a sentence and they didn't, they didn't, um, give him any more time california might say listen he's a flight risk you know he's a celebrity if somebody wants to really get to him they can get to him we need to get this man transfer him out of here transfer him to the streets back to freedom if he messes up again he'll be he knows he's going to be back in here again for a violation i hope and it's so scary because these people are so out there and wild they're wilding out here in these streets that I just hope that Blueface um, acknowledges that he's he's getting a pass. God is definitely looking out for him. But they always say that uh, God looks out for baby and fools and honey. Blueface is a fool and a baby. And so is Krishan Rock. Because I'm not going to leave one out without chastising the other. Because they both need to get this off together. But I just hope for whatever strange reason... If Krishan's situation gets um, uh, finished before Blueface, even though we know that if California doesn't hit him with a one-two-one-two one, two on that that uh, substance that they found in his um, cell, this is California now. I don't want y'all to get it mixed up. Not Nevada. Um, if she, for some reason, gets out before him and he might have to do a couple more weeks or a month or so or two, I just hope that she gets out and she makes it about Krishan Rock. That money changed Carlissa for real. It sure did. Right, because they react before they think. Right, exactly. And that's what, they're like loose cannons, both of them. And they think that it's cute. 
You know, like, yeah, that's what I'm about. And no, you shouldn't want to be about that because that's getting you into a lot of trouble. And, you know, you, you know, you, you signing checks that you can't cash. Both of y'all are. So y'all need to sit down and have several seats. But um, I'm going to show I'm going to show you the update. Shout out to Hennessy Review. I'm just going to show you this. Uh, you know, she did a, a, almost close to an hour live, but I just want to show you or let you listen uh, to the good news, what it appears to be the good news. And um, then we're going to get off of that. You know, we're not going to play her whole video. However, we're going to play where she talks about the uh, slap on the wrist, even though the judge said, if I see you in my courtroom one more time, she's going to send him away for a while. So that's why we just was, we was like, he's going to jail. But no, it's it's not happening like that. Maybe she forgot. May, and, and if she sees people like blue face on a regular basis doing crash dummy moves um if she didn't write down that that's what her, her promise to herself was to do for him uh she may have forgot i don't know but it was publicized so i don't understand how she would have forgot that but for whatever reason she was in a good mood and he got a he cut a break that's all i can tell you i'm tripping just a little bit that like button just a little bit is worse. I know is okay so now we got everything together let me check the screen and make sure the screen is good the screen is good and as it should be and now we are going to get all up into this doc let me get my comments where I want to make probably so that's baby wax the weasel talk her tired of typing tons of notes during class there's finally a better way it's called otter let's say I'm in class you when know I you ain't doing right. right. When I seen this, I said, called him a weasel. So the state of Nevada motion to quash the bench warrant. This was filed on June seventeenth. Now y'all remember when Papa Blue asked the question of who was gonna come first, come home first, mm. if it was Blue or Krishan? Mm -hmm. Talk about mm -hmm. it. I think he knew this already. It says, "Come now, defended Jonathan Porter by mm -hmm. and through his it? attorney Christina Wildenveld. As I guess that's how you say that." Uh, and the law offices of Christina da, 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 and respectfully moves this honorable court to quash the bench warrant issued by this court on February 1st of 2024. Okay, filed on this date on the 17th day so had a, of June. All right. So allegedly, and like I said, because paperwork can change, um, you know, we it could have been because errors can make be made human errors, how things are put into the system. But it was basically uh, from California type of a hearing. He did not have to leave and be transported to Nevada. So let's get that out of our head. All of this was taken care of from the humble abodes where uh, Blueface is now living until he is re um, uh, released in California. So he did not have to go physically into California. And let's hope a change will happen with Krishan Rock where Oklahoma does not pick her up within the 30 days or whatever the time they have allotted. Or they um, just don't pick her up and she has to come in on her own recordness. But they're just purposely just holding her for 30 days just to get back at her for not clearing them up in a timely fashion. But yes, he did not have to and does not have to go to Nevada to deal with this in court in the flesh because it was dealt with from California. Probably uh, via uh, conference call or something. <sighs> so the different is the And it appears that there was an appearance that was made in court. This was filed on June 24th at 9.30 a.m. in the courtroom. Defendant's motion to quash the bench warrant, and this was by Kathleen Delaney. Now, I am surprised that Miss Delaney was willing to hear all of this because she said she wasn't playing around with him. Yeah, all right? she did say that. But let's read what this has to say. It says, appearance continued, defendant Porter present via telephonically from California. So he was on the phone from Cali having court. Mm -hmm. 
So it was a phone uh, phone conversation, conference call. Upon the court's inquiry as to the supplemental reporting of California, Ms. Potts advised the state will be treating this as a technical violation. Okay? So he was violated. There was a violation, guys. Now it was not a violent. mistake or mishap or misunderstanding as whack put out there. He has a technical via violation. Okay. Miss Wood Woodeviled, I guess that's how you say it, advised the defendant uh, has been in custody in the state of California since late October. Now, he didn't get arrested until January. So I don't even understand how exactly. this late he had to turn thing was able January. to slide through the court because that's not true. He had to we all watched him turn in himself in on January 12th of yep. 2024. So I don't mm -hmm. know how he's been in their custody. I don't know. He was on probation way before October. So I'm not understanding this. That's why sometimes you don't want to jump the gun. You know, I just said, said human errors can be made. Things can be changed on the docket. So that's why, you know, we have to still say allegedly and all that because he got surrendered and turned himself in, came with his lawyer with that red raincoat on, okay, looking all crazy. And he turned himself in after the new year and it was in January. I don't remember the day, but Hennessy Review just said the day it was, but it was in the month of January. Uh, like the second week in January, he turned himself in. So I don't know where they're getting this October from. This late October thing that's being spoken of. But anywho, and the parties are in agreement to the technical violation. I don't know. With 30 days concurrent with the time Sharon. defendant is serving in California. So they're going to so, add it on to um, the time he already has. They are running his violation concurrent. concurrent with his California case. Further, the parties agree uh, defendant will not lose the reduction. That was previously agreed to. Okay. I'm going to drop down. The so, court yeah, noted he's, he's got, the drop um, down is not the judgment the of conviction. Miss Potts advised the drop down would still be on the table. Counsel advised it is, it is in the guilty plea agreement. Okay. The court noted that the court can do a minute order to correct the judgment of conviction if needed. Upon the court's inquiry, defendant stipulated to a uh, technical violation of probation matter submitted court ordered probation temporarily revoked and defendant sentenced to 30 days in the Clark County detention center. So they were sentencing him to 30 days. They have revoked his um, probation and sentenced him to 30 days with 30 days credit for time served concurrent with the defendant's California case. So when they revoked his probation, they sentenced him. He was going to get 30 days in Clark County, but instead they decided to run it concurrent with the California. Like, get him case. out of here. We had him here there long after enough. probation <laughs> reinstated. Further court ordered, bench warrant quashed. Court noted defendant is still on probation in this He'll case. Be coming home. And admonished defendant to report to pro parole and probation within 48 out. hours of release from custody of California. Now, let me come over here and let me see what y'all are. at your boy. He'll be coming home. Let me see what y'all talking about over here. Holla at your boy. Your boy will be coming home. Y'all said you guys were um, you guys were bored, and without him, I I admit mm -hmm. that it has been born without him. I feel like mm -hmm. people um. This is why his supervising officer need changed. him to I mm -hmm. guess the direct. Free Krishan. Absolutely. Yeah, they need to. Junior does need his mom. What more mm -hmm. than more than um he needs blue. over 120 people sipping this henny with 88 likes. Can y'all get these likes up? Like, come on now, y'all coming over here watching the video. Can y'all get them? Yeah, so yeah, hit that like button over here as well. Uh, thank you, thank you, thank you. But make sure y'all hit the like button as well. Looks like this chat is coming in okay because I've been having some internet issues. Um, but yeah, uh it surprised me that Blueface was going to be getting out um, because we knew after he picked up that case in California, while sentenced in California, um, and people were running around with the... People think that when they start rumors that it's going to make Blueface, like for an example, stay in there longer. When they made the rumors about methamphetamines. Let me tell you something. The legal system 
that is their territory. They know what Blueface did behind closed doors. And whatever they found inside of his room, can't nobody dictate a rumor and cause the state to go by a rumor on social media to keep this man in jail. If they tested it and it wasn't meth, it probably would have been a high, higher charge. But if they tested it and it wasn't meth, then it wasn't meth. They tested it and it was any kind of substance. Let's say substance. Um, That's a better word than drugs. Substance. Because, you know, I never heard of THCA uh, less than 3% percent of weed uh thc but what my point is to you is uh we're not the uh we're not the judge of the jury and at the end of the day those are the ones that make the sound decision what's going to happen with these um entities yes miss queries it is very good and um you know that's just the bottom line you know you can love these people or hate them but commentators are going to continue to do their work and update the people who support these people. Or even if you don't support them, um, you know, you still might be intrigued to want to know what's going on with them, good or bad. You know what I'm saying? And I'm going to continue to report them like I did for years on Nature Boy. Then I did Queen Op and Jaguar Right. And, you know, I think this is the most interesting Um reporting i actually enjoy reporting on christian rock and blueface when they were out when they were the couple that it couple and hopefully with all these alleged plans that christian rock says that they have in store for us you know with the um you know the clothing line with the music with the uh show her having her own show them having the show together the restaurant you know, that would be really fun, especially California natives, people who support my channel, you know, them uh, showing me maybe uh, a video clips of them going to the new uh, Blue Faces new restaurant and uh, doing food reviews. And I can share that on my platform of my California natives going to the restaurant when it opens. I wish nothing but the best for them. I really do. I do, don't stay up with Blue and Krishan as much as I used to is she's out. Yeah, um, but I, I will say that Krishan definitely is the GOAT. But Krishan is not going to continue to be the GOAT if she continues going forward to listen to what Blueface is saying to her, especially getting money. Because no man that has respect for you is going to tell a woman not to be a woman. A woman is a woman just like a man's a man because they take care of their responsibilities. And when a man tells you to stop taking care of your responsibilities, you should side-eye that man and question their motives. We all know his motives was out of selfishness. Him thinking that she was going to be running around with different men and probably lose interest in him or he would not be able to get her under control. It says they wasn't any receipts for all those plans. Well, yeah, well, right. Miss Know-It-All, you're right about that. So that's why I just said, allegedly, you know what I'm saying? Because we can't take what none of them say for face value because of the simple fact that we all know, even, even the managers, like WAC 100, they lie. You know what I'm saying? There's always more to the story or... They never even told the story. But listen, I want you guys to see how I visualize super fans. And maybe, you feel what I'm saying, Miss Know-It-All? Maybe um, you guys can get an understanding of, you might view content creators that do content on Christian Rock and Blueface as, you know, obsessed or enough's enough and get a life, report on somebody else. But, you know, this is how supporters that go overboard, disclaimer, overboard, and, and, and super fans go overboard. And it doesn't matter what these people do, you think that you're just going to, you're never going to find fault in it. This is what this picture looks like. Somebody did a commentary video and I bumped into it and I said, wow. Now, if it doesn't apply, let it fly. Because there are calm supporters of super fans who, whether 
or not they love, well, I'll say they not hate her because they wouldn't be super fans or um, supporters, but if they love Krishan and respect who she is, there are some super fans and supporters who, if she's wrong, she's wrong. And they're going to say she's wrong. And it's not that they're flip-flopping. It's just that she, they're going to tell the truth and shame the devil. They're not going to tell you what you want to hear. They're going to tell you what you need to hear. But a lot of People, even if you're not a super fan or a fan or obsessed, I just want you to just visualize and hear just what it sounds and looks like when people get too evolved with these social media influences. And it doesn't matter what I say or what the other channel holder says or even TMZ says, you already got your mind made up what you want to think. And this is how mass confusion starts. So I thought this was interesting to share with you guys. Of course, I had to alter the video because there was some, you know, profanity and everything going on. But uh, I want to present this information. It's just one of those artists that you either love him or you hate him. He's been in the spotlight for so long now that we've all been able to witness some of his major triumphs and his biggest losses. I, know, I gotta my admit, I was on the hate train for a while, but I'm kind of over it now. But there are some people that no exactly, matter what will ride or die for this dude. I'm Piercing. talking bend over backwards, defend, and worship him as if he can do no wrong. And although there are many of them, today I'll be talking about the one that might have taken it a bit too far. This is the curious case of Drake's biggest super fan. Turning back the clock to 2011, the world was a much different Some place. Some people take this way Facebook too far. was really popping. MW3 had just dropped. The swag era was in full effect. LMFAO had the clubs going crazy. And Drake was just beginning his rise into the limelight. He had seen amazing commercial success with his debut album in 2010, but people were unsure if he would ever be able to replicate it. Yet, only 17 months later, Drake released his second studio album, Take Care, that commercially completely blew his first out of the water, selling 631,000 copies in its first week alone. It was clear that he, alongside his YMCMB collaborators, had the music industry in a chokehold. Their fan base spread across the entire globe, yet there was one that would easily stand out above all the rest. It was an average day in California's City of Angels, the Will Rise Tattoo Shop, located on North Fairfax Avenue, was Is going on in business as usual. Went to? A customer walks in and eagerly requests a tattoo, so Kevin, one of the shop's artists, agrees and gets the job done. His boss, Norm, snaps a few photos of the process and later decides to upload them to social media, not expecting much of it. Almost immediately, the pictures go viral. People could not believe they were real. A face tat back then was a little unheard of. But a face tattoo that says f***ing Drake was something no one could have ever predicted. Now, listen, I saw on TikTok, I don't know if they were real, and I'll probably look them up after this is over with. It looked like when Krishan Rock got the face tattoo of Blueface, there were other girls that got them done, too. Now, I'm not going to go back and forth for anybody in this chat because we, we have experts up here that are, can be at every place at all times and they can pretty much try to debunk it. But I did see pictures, whether they were fake tattoos or not, even playing around that you put a, a, a fake tattoo on your face of uh, blue face uh, speaks uh, volumes. Regular people will never get this many chances. Exactly. You, you already know that, lucky girl. OMG, I could never tap my face. I'm trying to tell you, me neither. Super fans of fans. Straight of away, the internet had so many questions, mainly how and why, but that wouldn't be answered until a Vice interview on December 8th, 2011 with Kevin, the tattoo artist, where he details the encounter and states his thoughts on the whole ordeal. According to Kevin, the unnamed eyebrowless woman came into the parlor super hyped on the idea of the tattoo. She acted as if she had planned it out for a while. Grand she had the font all picked out on her iPhone, ready to go, and was pretty adamant on putting it on her forehead. She didn't go into detail on the meaning behind it, and Kevin, having prior experience tattooing Crip members in Harbor City, assumed it was the woman's hood or something. Before he put the stencil on her, he made sure he to lay out the potential great. consequences of such an outlandish face tat. And after giving her three chances to change her mind, 
He finally printed out the first image of the tattoo, and the woman was not satisfied. She wanted me to go bigger so that it pretty much went from each side of her hairline to the other. She had me enlarge it a bit and push it up. Once she agreed on the placement, Kevin got to work. In the end, only completing the outline as that's all the woman could afford. I think by the time I finished, she was coming down off drugs because her attitude changed drastically once the tattoo was finished. But since Kevin had done crazier tattoos, and he's also a firm believer in people getting the tattoos they deserve, he didn't think much of this piece at all. Yet, things totally changed once the pictures hit the internet and he learned the true meaning of the tattoo. Both tattoo artists and the general public were grilling him for going through with such a piece. Kevin was disappointed to figure out that the woman was just a crazy fan and started getting mixed feelings about the tattoo, stating, I guess I feel bad that this d the name of the softest mother hip hop tattooed on her, but what makes it any less valid of a tattoo to her? I lost a little sleep over it that first night, wondering if I wanted to be known as the asshole who tattooed Drake on some crackhead's forehead. The image continued to circulate online and eventually reached its way to Drake himself. What up, Mondo Fresco, my man Drizzy Drake? Yes, what's going on? Yo, have you seen this picture? I have. What are your thoughts on it? I want to meet her and understand why, what happened. That's cool, though. Like, I, I feel you 100%. That, to me, is, like, absolutely incredible. I don't know if you can see it, but this girl what tattooed Drake on happened? her forehead. The guy who tatted it is, will tell you that. I don't view to that tat artist, by the way, because you're for real. And you should lose your job. And you should never do tattoos again if I ever see them. But, bro, I really, really, like, I want to talk to this girl and understand it all, you know? Um... I know, yeah, no, straight up, straight up. No, it was, it was love. I mean, it's crazy. It's surreal. I don't even want to look at it anymore because it's awesome. surreal, you know. Yeah. As you can tell, Drake was not happy, and his call out towards the artist exactly. drew more attention that towards butterfly. Kevin and the tattoo. To add more fuel to the fire, Kevin responded to the video to saying he would totally fight Drake, leading to a slew of Drake fans to talk and threaten him on Twitter, saying things like, Dude, don't ever talk to OVO. You gonna get dogged out. And... You not about that life. Calm your turkey chop and quit trying to get fame off Drake. You don't nobody give a f you. Use a non-factor. The man was fighting for his life online and spent the rest of his Christmas week responding to people and defending himself. On December 29th, right before the New Year's, things got a bit more real. Drake actually decided to pull up to the tattoo shop where Kevin was working. However, it didn't go exactly as you'd think. Kevin noted on Twitter that Drake pulled up in a limo, but never actually stepped out of the vehicle, instead opting to send some of his bodyguards inside the shop to have a little chat with Kevin. They told him that, quote, nobody in the state of California was going to hurt Drake before leaving and driving off. People found the interaction online, and a couple weeks went by before things were seemingly hashed out between the two. Kevin tweeted out, Drake beef officially squashed. Everyone can now move on. Only positivity from here on out. Apparently, he and Drake shook hands outside the shop, and both agreed things had gotten a little out of hand. Many years later, in 2019, Kevin made his last social media she post was talking about the incident, on where he drugs, stated that he and his boss apparently scared might Drake's not even be alive out of the shop with or weapons. Be in jail. Yet after all this time, there still has been the lingering question of who this mystery woman was, and how she was doing after the tattoo. She never went back to the shop to complete it, and also didn't leave her number on the consent form, so there was no way of contacting her. Years went by without any information, until in 2019, when a user by the name of the underscore X commented on a lipstickalley.com post asking about the woman's whereabouts. I saw her in a place that's notorious for getting heroin. I wasn't buying any drugs, just passing through. She still has the tattoo, and was walking Why, around days and talking to herself, possibly through. high, but obviously insane. Now, I'm not sure if this person is telling the truth or not, but it doesn't seem like a very unlikely outcome. There are other people online claiming the woman passed away or is in prison, but again, no evidence is ever presented, so things are left a mystery. I personally am just going to believe Reddit user beer underscore is underscore tasty's post and conclude that after Drake lost a lot of popularity, she got the tattoo altered and started working as a highway construction flagman with the tattoo now saying break. <laughs> In all seriousness though, this is a pretty crazy and sad situation. The woman literally ruined her entire life in just a couple hours with this tattoo. The tattoo artist was 
technically just doing his job, but the fact that he mentioned he noticed she was on some kind of drugs does make the whole situation a lot more unfortunate. I'm really surprised that no one has been able to provide any information on the woman, as she can probably be recognized from a mile away, but all I can hope is that she's doing better and that maybe one day we'll get a real conclusion to this story. Yeah, I want to share that with you guys. Um, yeah, people go really far with it. Now, I mean, I, I haven't seen too many people in um, <laughs> the community quite yet sending me any uh, face tattoos. But I know that I saw some on TikTok. I'm going to look it up. Uh, let me see. Let me see. I'm going to look up woman, blue face tattoos. I'm going to look up Krishan. Face tat. All right. They might just pull up only Krishan. Oh, yeah, there was one right here. Oh, yep, 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 yep. I knew I wasn't crazy. Sheer. Yep, I remember. This is the one I remembered. Another woman is going viral for getting a blue face tattoo on her face. Crazy. Why would you do that? Because Krishan did it. Crazy. I remember this, this picture here popped up because she was, she was just as viral as um Krishan Rock with this um tattoo. Uh, let me see this. But there was a, like a skit that was done too, not with her, but with a, a TikToker. So uh, let me see if they'll show. All right, let me try to get up out of here. Oh, here it is. Let me see. But I could. I'm gonna say women. Let me say get. Blue face tattoo. Like. I'm quite sure there's more people than that one girl, but. Oh, wait a minute. There's an updated picture of that girl. Oh, shoot. You know how like when the ink starts to. Oh, that's fake. That's got to be fake. That's got to be fake. It looks fake to me. I might be wrong. We'll see in a minute. I got close up on that. That looks fake when they show. That's the girl right there. That's a, I didn't see this one. This is an update one. That's a joke, though. That's a sharp, sharpie. No, it looks like one of those peel on. Look at it. Let me pause it. That looks like a peel on. I'm sorry, ma'am. That looks like a peel on. I'm quite sure you can get custom fake tattoos like she got. Remember, it was shaded in dark at first. And then, then just like Krishan, it, it, um, once the ink that's not supposed to stay um, was washed away, you know, it, it looked like this. But it's a little bit more faded. It scares racing to me. Like, why would you need a tattoo? I'm trying to tell you. Like a man with respect would even want you. Thank you, um, Ms. Bev1950, baby. It says, I think it's a fake one, too. I'm going to see if I can get some more uh, literature on this. But that girl done lost her mind, if that is true. They're pretty much doing her makeup, though. It says, Krishan copied her tattoo. They're saying up here, Krishan copied her tattoo up here in the sub... Oh, girl. Matter of fact, let me see if we can find this girl. Krishan copied her tattoo. Girl, God. Or whoever wrote that. Let me not say girl, but we don't know who wrote it. Let's see if we can see some more. But she's the only one, and this is my second time seeing her, that did this. Hold on. Hold on. Wait a minute. That's her. We already seen this one, so we're not going to look at it again. 
Girl, you crazy. If that is real. Let me see if there was any other people. I know she didn't. Let me see. Oh, no, you didn't. That's fake. Let me see if she says it's fake. I'm a bad little bitch. Oh, we don't need that. That looks fake, too, and I hope you didn't get that one because you look slow with that all them color schemes, honey. Look like you got a Burberry uh, a shirt on your face. Good, you doing the most. This one here, that looks definitely fake. Girl, you better get out and get your shine on. I had it on mute having a whole conversation with myself. Christian already had tattoos removed from Blue's. I know. Says, why would she put that boy on her face? I don't know. She is so pretty. I was sitting there talking with the mute button on saying, look at that girl. She is so pretty. Krishan is naturally pretty. She don't even have to wear makeup. And Krishan is so pretty. She is so pretty. And you know what else I love about her? She don't be, um, she don't be, um, she don't be getting like plastic surgery or nothing like that. She's naturally genetically beautiful. Where? on mute sounds you're not on mute now you was on mute because i was talking to myself looking at these uh pictures but she's such a beautiful girl good why you get that tattoo on you good and the first girl you showed her looks very cheap compared to rocks right i think those are uh, fake tattoos the ones that you um you wet them and then you peel them you put it on your face and you peel them off Hey, Cyrus, salute to you as well. Thank you so much. How did she lo lose her mind and Krishan didn't? The fake ones are funny. The real ones rock. God is sick. <laughs> Lucky girl, you bad. Lucky girl is bad. She being bad. I figured you was on. Yeah, I was on mute. But I was so I got so mesmerized in her pictures because she's such a beautiful girl. She looks great, exactly. Yes, she is. She is a beautiful girl naturally. Let's get it right. Naturally, she is a beautiful girl. And um, that, that picture right there, she looks like her mother in that picture. Like, when I say her mother, I don't need any disrespect in the comment section. I'm talking about when her mother was young, before she allegedly got on drugs, in my opinion. She looks like a younger version of her mother with the tan skin and the way her face looks, to me. Because a mother is a beautiful, high cheek boned woman. But see, drugs can, to do, can do a number on you. So, you know, yeah, so, you know, she's a very, to me, beautiful girl. Um, and she's very athletic. It's, it's, it's a blessing, you know, um, that uh, she's been through a lot, but she's a beautiful girl. She's a beautiful woman. Yeah, let's get up, up, up out of here, though. Yeah, so, yep, blue face for the ones that are just coming in the chat. Looks like he'll be home sooner than we think. He's not in trouble with Nevada. He did a telephone call with the courts of Nevada, and it looks like he got caught a break. He better stop playing with fire because I'm going to tell you something, you keep you keep playing around, and you might not be lucky. Your luck will definitely run out after a while. When people get tired of being tired, they will definitely huh, handle their business with you, blue face. You better be paying attention. You got a tablet. I'm quite sure you be on social media listening to these commentary channels trying to tell you what you need to hear, not what you want to hear. And whether you listen to it or not is another question. Yeah, I see her mother in there. Yep, I, yeah, you know what I'm saying? Tasiki and her, the best looking two. Yep, they are the best looking two. Yes, my mama was beautiful, but 
substance ruined them and took her life losing you said took her life losing her made me get my i know that's right butterfly 31 for you saying that your mother passed away from from um from the addiction um butterfly 314 Krishan is naturally um, beautiful regardless of how she acts. She is. You can't take that away from her. You definitely can. I think that she could be doing a lot more with her um, talent. And um, you know, and when I say talent, people say, well, what talent does she have? Listen, I'm not I – like, I've heard since I've been doing commentary on her, some of her music. But I, I, I feel like people have talent when they're being themselves. And people can graduate um, – Okay. Oh, wow. I'm sorry to hear that. I'm sorry to hear that. Let's put some praying hands in the chat for Butterfly314. But, um, yeah, um, I think that that's a talent, a gift in itself when you can put um, yourself up on a, a competitive platform and people just love you for you, you know? So, you know, I, that's how I feel. So, um, you know, I just feel like she should be taking advantage of that talent and not letting a man, you know, dictate policy. She's even beautiful how she acts. People just take the worst parts of her. Yep, you're right. The other sister that be in church all the time is pretty, too, actually. All of them are pretty. Yeah. Hey, Roseanne, Cyrus. Yeah, but, you know, they're all pretty. You know, I'm just saying, I think, in agreeing, then none of them are ugly. She made some beautiful children. The mother has, I will say that. Thank the Lord to the mother, because I did see the daddy. And I'm not being disrespectful, because don't no woman want you to be saying, oh, my, her man is fine. Get your own man and say he fine. But, uh, you know, Krishan's father, he looked all right. He probably, in his day, he was probably, you know, a looker. He was something to look at. But right now, he's not. But you know how them pharmaceuticals do, folks. You know, but, um, you know, I just wish the best for both of them. I hope they get out. I know Blueface is not on time, on no kind of time where he's going to disappear from social media once he gets back on social media because he knows. He knows that if he gets back up on social media and he doesn't do his big one, that he's going to be a one-hit wonder. You got to get to balance. So, you know. But listen, all right. Thank y'all for coming through. I love y'all. Y'all know y'all be holding it down. I love y'all for that. Make sure on the way out y'all hit that like or that dislike. I promise you it's free to like. Also, make sure you share the video. Also, before you leave, hold on. Wait a minute. Let me put some pimping in it. Make sure that you go up to the top of the description box of this video and make sure that you're subscribed to my second channel. I will not always be streaming on both lives at the same time. And you don't want to miss any updates or anything I'm going to be doing in the near future. So it's up at the top pin there. So make sure that you guys go up at the top on your way out before you exit, exit and click on to that link. No talking about them, but remind cute babe. <laughs> Have a blessed Sunday. You as well. Queen grandma rocks. And so it's my, Oh, let's put some birthday wishes for Nessie. Come on. Let's do that for my mom before I leave. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to uh happy birthday to Nessie. Happy birthday to you. How old are you now? 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 Happy birthday, Nessie. Nessie, are you going to get Zessie? <laughs> I'm just messing with you, baby. <laughs>